Hi, so here is a short demo of the um, CH522 board I made. As you can see here are two touchpads, two LEDs there, there and one LED in the middle but that is um, directly connected to the 5 volt rail and I made a bunch of these PCBs you know they are pretty cheap these days and here are also some other pre-made boards and as you can read in my blog um, I will show you a keyboard example so this ship is now running as, an use, as a USB keyboard and if I plug it in it will get recognized from Windows as you hear it and one LED is now blinking every 40 milliseconds and the other one is the NUM LED from the keyboard so if I now press NUM on my keyboard you can see the light turns on or off because it's just a regular keyboard then if you press the T1 button the chip will go into bootloader mode and you can see here that it is recognized by the programmer there and if I now reprogram it then the chip will restart and just acts like a normal keyboard so and I have here the cursor and if I now press the T2 button the chip will write its text on the text input so if I press it again it will write it again and just one more time it is also possible to emulate a mouse and move the cursor so it's a perfect rubber ducky as you call it also you have the button on the back side that, that is doing nothing right now and I will show you a little bit of the source code from, from the keyboard examples so here on the top you see the text that it is writing and um, the definition from the LEDs, the endpoint buffers for the keyboard and also the jump to bootloader function I am using to bring it into bootloader mode via software, the timer interrupt from timer 0 to make 1 millisecond counts and some other definition, definitions here is also the touch function and then there are the keyboard definitions so one is a keyboard description, description and one is a mouse description and that is just to take, taken from the original example and the next thing that is interesting is here the send key function where it will take one char out of the string and just v uh, looks what this char is and will um, make the right HID commands to the USB port. So for example if you want to write uh, an enter you have to put the enter uh, value into HID key 2 and so on. Then you have here the function to press the button down and then it will release a button right after 10, 10 milliseconds and then here you just have the function to um, take one uh, char out of the string after, after another in the main function first the chip gets initialized and the USB device also and the touch pin or port also the LED outputs are set 
to output and the timer zero is in started and then there goes the while loop where it first checks if the milliseconds mm -hmm. milliseconds have passed 40 milliseconds it will turn the led one on or off uh, will save the last milli millis uh, to a variable and will also turn the led two on or off after the num log value which is set um, in the interrupt from the USB. Then we have an, an if statement to the touch input that is also um, set via an interrupt. And if touch one is set or touch two, channel two is it in this example, we will jump to bootloader or if um, touch channel three is set, B is set to one which will call in the RED value handle and is right there that it will start to write the, the string from the keyboard or to the keyboard to the PC whatever you you want to call it so that's the code another project I want to show from this chip is this board and we have here the CH552 and also a 4 megabyte SPI flash and if I plug this thing in it will be recognized as a USB flash drive and we have a file on here just for example if I now make a new text file something like this and name it whatever I want if I unplug the chip the folder gets closed because the device is not available anymore and if I plug it in again it will come here and also the text file is there again it's not very fast and not very really useful but it's nice to know that this also works. Okay, that's all for now I want to show. And if you want to know more about other projects like this e-ink display I made, with Bluetooth function, or this smartwatch I also made with Arduino code, just check it out in my other videos. And you can see more of this. Thank you.